Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace website designer for travel photographers. This is the fourth video in a series about how to get noticed as a travel photographer. So, so far we've talked about finding a niche and developing your ideal client. Uh, we've looked at marketing and stopping the follow for follow. So today we're going to talk all about SEO. So SEO is search engine optimization. It's all about how to um, make certain alterations to your site or online presence in order to make it easier uh, for search engines to find you and for you to rank higher in uh, search searches. Um, so if people are searching your business, um, you want to obviously rank higher in Google. And so this is how some just some tips and uh, little tweaks you can make to increase or optimize your site for search engines. Um, so the first is, you know, super important for travel photographers is um, optimizing your images. So you need to make sure that they are um, not very big. If they're a huge picture, they're going to um, take a lot longer to load and so your site is slower um, which decreases your ranking in search engines. So make sure, try to keep them under 500 megabytes um, so you can use different compressions, things like that. Um, so I know when you're selling photos you want your photos to um, obviously be a really good quality but you also on your site don't want it to be super slow and hard to um, take a long time to load. So make sure that you optimize all of your images. With that, you also wanna make sure that you are naming your images, putting descriptions and tags on your images so Google knows what your image is actually about. So if you just post the image and just have it titled, you know, know SM0125 or something like that whatever the camera named it um, or you know you just have it named you know Greece or something like that um, it's gonna be hard there's gonna be tons of photos that come up for Greece um, and also nobody's going to Google SM01 you know whatever so make sure that you're naming them exactly what's in the photo so Google knows what's there and it will pop up uh, when people search those keywords so tags, descriptions, optimizing your images. Um, in terms of websites um, or other online things, you need to make sure that it has an SSL certificate. So in the top on your URL, it should say HTTPS, meaning it's a secure site. Uh, so Google now ranks sites that are, do not have this as really low because it says they're not secure, so your site will not um, become higher. So make sure you have an SSL certificate. If you're using Squarespace, this is already done for you. You just need to turn it on in the settings. Um, so that's that's quite a simple one. You also need to submit your site map to Google so that um, Google knows what pages you have and how to um, read them. Uh, so make sure you do that. Um, in terms of what you can do if you're blogging, if you have a blog, uh, that can be a really great way to increase your SEO ranking. So you want to create really good quality content that's filled with your keywords in authentic ways. Don't just, you know, have a sentence of random words that are your keywords, so make sure they're authentically in there. Um, but if it's good quality content um, and you're naming it ways that um, people, when they search, your blog comes up and it's exactly what they want when they click on it, that's gonna hugely increase your SEO for a couple reasons. One, you're gonna have a low bounce rate. So that means that nobody's gonna come and visit your site and then leave really quickly because it's not what they want. So clickbaity titles, um, that sort of stuff. Uh, if you have good quality content that's long, again, they're gonna stay on your site longer to read that, which means your bounce rate is gonna be lower, um, so you're gonna rank higher. And also having all those keywords in there means that you have a higher chance when somebody has that keyword, types that keyword in, Google sees that your site has tons of content surrounding those words and so you're gonna rank higher. Um, so again, that goes back to our marketing strategies being consistent, um, good quality content, that's going to increase your SEO. Um, you also wanna make sure that you have a 404 page that converts clients. So don't just have a basic generic page that when um, a link is broken or if somebody searches something that your site doesn't have like an old um, name or something, it will come up as like an error page, right? But you don't want that error page just to say error. You know, you want to say, oops, you know, sorry uh, you, that you didn't find what you're looking for, uh, let's help you. And have a bunch of links on the bottom of things they can do so that it redirects them to other areas of your site and they're not just going to get frustrated, oh, this, you know, this is broken, back to Google because, again, bounce rate. Um, make sure that all of your 
uh, pages within your website also are like the photos have a name and a description um, within that so that people know exactly what you're looking for and again plug some keywords in there authentically if you can um, yeah so I think that's just about everything uh, so a lot of tips I know I've talked quite a bit um, but all in all what you really want to know is that you in order to rank higher in search engines um, you need to be thinking about your search engine optimization optimizing your images putting keywords throughout the names of photos, the names of posts within your posts in an authentic way, um, having you know a secure site that is um, optimized for multiple devices, that has uh, a site map into Google, um, that has a 404 page, and you know that you have all these SEO things throughout it. Um, SEO can be quite tricky, so it, if you know, you're not so good at these types of things, it could be helpful to hire somebody that knows how to do that or how to optimize um, your site. I am currently booking free consultations, so if you would like me to look at your SEO or help you out with that, you're welcome to book a free consultation and the link is in my Instagram bio. Um, so yeah, that is number four is search engine optimization.